Question 125 of leak code, valid palindrome. So a phrase is a palindrome if, after converting all uppercase letters into lowercase letters and removing all non-alphanumeric characters, it reads the same forward and backward. Alphanumeric characters include letters and numbers. So given a string S, return true if it is a palindrome or false otherwise. So in this example, we have a man, a plane, a canal, Panama. This is going to return true because once we get rid of the non-alphanumeric characters, so like the commas, the spaces, the semicolons, it's going to be the same forwards as it is backwards once we create all of this in lower case. So we have this example here, race a car with one comma. It contains alphanumeric characters and also non-alphanumeric characters. So we need a couple of helper functions, right? Clean string, which is going to be a helper function. And what this helper function is going to do is it's going to remove uppercase. So convert to lowercase and remove non-alphanumeric values. That's all this is going to do. It's going to clean up the string. Then we need to check if the string is a palindrome. So we can create a function for that. And the way we do that is we just compare the left side to the right side. So at the end of this, it's going to give us this as a result. Now we need to check if it's a palindrome. If we start at either side and we work our way in, so we have a two pointer technique and we check if this value here is the same as this value, which is not, so we can return false. But if it was, what we do is we'd increment inwards. So left pointer would move here, right pointer would move there until there is no space left and then we can just return true. So time complexity for this really does depend on how you implement both of these helper functions. So we'll discuss this in the code. So to start off with, we need a helper function and we're gonna call it clean up and we're gonna pass this into a variable called clean string. And what this helper function is going to do is it's gonna convert our string into lowercase and remove non-alphanumeric values. So let's write out that function. So clean up takes in string. So the way we remove all non-alphanumeric values is we store all alphanumeric values within a variable. So let's do that. And what we're going to do is we're going to loop over this string that we've passed in and we're going to check to see whether the value within string is found within the character above. And if it's not, we remove it. If it is, we add it to a new string variable. Okay, so we're gonna loop through the string. We're gonna convert it to lowercase first. So this is the important part. So we're gonna look in character, and we're gonna check if we can find the index of L case. And if that is not equal to minus one, we know for a fact that it is an alphanumeric value. So we can just add it to the string. So what this is doing here is it's looking within character. It's looking to find the index of this value. And if it doesn't find it, AKA it's equal to minus one, then it's a non alphanumeric value. So if it's not equal to minus one, then it's found within here. And then we can return new string. Next, we need to create another helper function. And this is to check whether it's a palindrome. So we're going to pass in the new, the clean string we just created, and we need to create that help function. So is pal takes in the string. Now with a palindrome, we just want to check to see whether the left is the same as the right. So for example, ABA is a palindrome because firstly we check the left against the right, and then we move inwards. ABA is also a valid palindrome because we check the left, the right, they're both the same. Then we move inwards, we check the left and the right. They're both the same. Now, if we had C in there, we check the left and right. They're the same. Then we move inwards. B and C are not the same. So it's not a valid palindrome. So let's utilize the two pointer technique. So left is equal to zero. Right is equal to string dot length minus one. And while left is less than right, we can check if string at left does not equal string at right. So if they're not the same, it's not a palindrome. So we just return false. And then we need to increment and decrement both sides respectively. Otherwise we'll enter into an infinite loop. And once we pop out of this loop, if a false has not been returned, we can just return true because we know it's a valid palindrome. Okay. And then finally, we need to return this value up here. And that will return true or false. So let's give this a go. Okay. So it's been accepted. Let's submit it. And there you have it.
So in terms of time and space complexity with this particular solution, time complexity is O n plus m because we've got one for loop within the cleanup, which will loop through the entire string that has been passed in. And we also have and we also have a two pointer technique here using a while loop. So it's going to be O n plus m for time. And then with regards to space complexity, the only thing we need to consider is this function here for space. We have characters here, which is constant because this is the same no matter what string is being passed in. However, we do create a new string here, and this could potentially be in worst case scenarios, the same length as the string passed in. So space in this case is O of n.